Good morning and welcome back to Doug's Garden. This morning I'm going to show you um, lavender cuttings that I'm going to be planting. So I'll get lavender next year, which I took some from some plants I planted earlier on in the year. I bought four for ten pound, and they've they've done really well. And I've taken some of the flowers and I've dried them in the bathroom and made a little display, which is really good. So what you do is you get a, you get some cuttings. I've got a quite a few here straight away it's been raining today so they're more they're more wet get the cutting strip off the lower leaves I'm putting it in some hormone rooting powder and just place around the edge of the pot so just remove the lower leaves don't have to be too fancy, just so they don't rot in the pot. And some hormone powder around the edge of the pot. This is one of the first terracotta pots I've got. I've got the little tiny baby one, which I've shown you before, which is very tiny. But I got this one, it was only a pound in the sale in Asda. Well, the supermarkets are available. So I'm going to start building up a stock of terracotta pots. More than just the plastic, although plastic's perfectly fine. Now this one's a bit long, so I took a big cutting. So what I'm going to do is just cut underneath the leaf node, a bit of rooting powder, plant it into the ground, a couple more. And I'll take, I'll show you throughout the year how these cuttings progress. And the greenhouse smells of really, really strong lavender. It's taking my breath away. I'm asthmatic anyway, but it's really, really quite overpowering. So right, so I've put five cuttings in that pot. I will label them up later, but I'll, I'll know what they are anyway. So I'll put this to one side. And then what I'm going to do is just move some of this. So I've got another one there. I'll do that later. Just move some of this. Now what I've seen on TV, on the um, YouTube, is Mr. Sam the Allotment Man. He planted some ginger. Various other people have planted ginger as well. And because we eat a lot of ginger in our house, I thought I might as well. I thought I might as well try growing some ginger. So when we went shopping yesterday, I bought this piece of ginger. It was 24 pence. It's quite a big piece of ginger. What I'm going to do is just break it in half. So I've got two halves. I've got a pot with normal compost. I'm just going to make a hole. I'll put some grit in the bottom as well just to help and this they'll have to go in a bigger pot later on but this is just to get it started so that's what number one and this is number two so it's, it's quite a big chunk that I'm putting in the ginger it smells really nice it's my um, missus makes uh, ginger tea with tea bags it's, uh, she's Indian and it's uh, Indian Thing. It's very nice with honey. It's good when you've got a cold. A load of ginger, some honey, various other bits and pieces, and just some tea bags, and you boil it up in a saucepan. So instead of uh, keep on boiling it, we're going to make our own ginger. So plant it in the pot. I'll put pebbles in the bottom of this as well, and I will water them in. And throughout the year, I will keep an update of what's occurring with them. Right, what I'm going to do now is just give you a quick tour. Just move on the self stick, say good morning, everybody, and pleased to see you again. So, I've been using the light that's off the solar panel and the charge controller still working 
really well. Now what I'm going to do is just turn the view screen around. So I've got some chilies growing. They haven't been the best this year. I've got, I've got some in the house already, but these are the sweet bite that I took seeds from when we went to the supermarket. I thought, oh, they're nice. I'm like an orange colour, and they taste really nice. So I thought, oh, I'll take some cuttings and try to grow them. And then I've got two, which I'm happy with. Then we've got. I had a lot of white fly in the in the greenhouse, so you know it's like messed stuff up a little bit but I've got some seeds now I don't know if you can hear the rain it's absolutely hammering it down there this is my Zimbabwe black and I've got if it's in focus I've got some little chilies growing just not to leave but we're trying some fuchsias that one doesn't look very good so I'll take that out but the others seem to be okay and a fuchsia I had from a next door neighbour which I'm trying to grow on these were absolutely hammered by white fly, but I've got some, I've got some chilies growing. That one's trying to sort itself out. I haven't done really brilliantly well this year because I was, I was not very well, and then it, uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to come into the greenhouse as much. So I had a really bad back. So we'll have a look around. I'm going to go outside quickly to show you outside. I want to show you the button of squash and we'll go outside in the rain and see how it goes because it's absolutely coming down so I'm just going to go out quick and then I'm going to come back in so I don't wreck the fan. Right, I'll see you out there. Right, here are the tomatoes. I'm also going to die off now. I've had quite a few tomatoes. There's two that I'm going to take in the house soon and this is the butternut squash which I'm going to show you really quickly. So that's a butternut squash, just a general garden view. There's some more tomatoes and the sweet corn was doing really well. And I've took all the tomatoes out of here. I've planted some onions in that M1. So quick look back inside. And I've learned I've learnt my lesson this year. I'm not planting as many tomato plants um, because I had loads of tomato plants and I couldn't I couldn't water them enough and uh, it, it just got too congested I couldn't get to the bottom of the garden and um, I realised that it's it, it's best to just have a few and look after them really well. Uh, I'm growing more sweet corn. Um, next year it's a sweet corn that's done very well it doesn't take up a lot of space so i'm happy that i won't be doing beans i don't think next year um simply because the slugs got them and um, i didn't get as much off it as i thought you know the, the peas i'm going to do again oh, we've got loads of peas the butternut i'm going to do again i'm going to because i've got the greenhouse sorted out now and it actually works um and it's waterproof and everything i'm going to use, I don't know, I'm going to grow stuff better next year. I'm going to try and grow the chilies outside. Um, I don't think they, they hit the, some of the temperatures, I mean the temperature on the gauge for yesterday was 34.4 and the minimum was 14 and that was uh, with the door open and with the little vent open and with the fans working. I mean I've got two fans so, but I'd recommend anyone to have a go at um, gardening, doing the greenhouse. I mean, I built this little one myself. Um, it's had the steel frame one, and if you've seen earlier videos, you'll you'll know the wood's quite cheap. Uh, luckily, I had the roof or the plastic, the corrugated plastic sheet, and I had from my next door neighbour, and they had some work done on the house. Um, so, you know, it, it's a case of just having a go. So as long as you enjoy stuff, even if it might die, stuff might die, stuff you know might not grow. As like I said in some of my earlier videos, as long as I get one chili, one tomato, one button squash, I wasn't expecting. 
expecting now. I've got some gem squash growing as well, but it's at the top of the garden, and I don't really want to go up in the rain and wreck the farm. Um, I've got carrots growing as well, which I'm getting about an inch long now. They haven't done brilliantly well, but then they were covered over by the tomatoes, and they, they didn't get no heat and no light or anything. So you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, chilies next year. I might try and grow a couple of my own from seed, but I think I'm going to go to B and Q or another store that sells chilies um, and buy most of my stock um, that's already been grown you know because this is one that I got this one here this is one from Asda and I got it for 50 pence and there's some chilies on it you know it's it's doing doing okay that was only 50 pence it was in a little reject bin thing that they do um, but yeah so I'd recommend anybody to have a go at growing something. Um, tomatoes have done better this year than I've ever ever done. I haven't, this is my second year of growing tomatoes and um, I'm quite pleased with the way they've gone. I did get a little bit of blight um, which I got rid of and I've kept um, a record of what variety it was. I grew all my tomatoes outside and some of them weren't outdoor tomatoes. So you know I was lucky to get the tomatoes I did and, and the missus eating them, you know I'm having them sandwiches and whatever so but um but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this video i've rambled on a little bit i think it's because i haven't been doing them for a, for a while uh, and i hope to see you soon uh from doug's garden at the moment until the next time happy growing and goodbye for now